in five, three, one. Five radicals. Five radicals. Yeah. We're living it every day. Five radicals. Golden distance, measuring way. particular reason why you're covered in paper mache? Ah, yes, I'm working on a new project. What's the new project? Ah, well, I need a bust of myself. Okay, like a statue of you. Like from the chest up. Absolutely, K-Man, you got it. And I was hoping that, uh, you know, we could make one. So, what do you need a bust for? Well, um... was that? I never learned how to wink with one eye. Okay, now does this have anything to do with your, um, mysterious work? I told you, it wouldn't be a mysterious secret, would it? So, um, you kids, uh, able to help me out here with this bust? Sure. Do you have a tape measure? Got it all rolled up in my sleeve. That sleep. Uh, actually, yeah. Oops. <laughs> hey, that's okay. We can use this. I'll need your thumb. All right. One. And two. We're good to go. Are you saying that you can make a bust of me just by measuring the... The base of my thumb with a piece of string? Yeah, your thumb times two will do. This, I gotta see! Hey Donna, thank you so much for meeting with us today. We want to make a bust of Uncle Norm, and we figured we should talk to someone who knows a lot about body measurements, and especially someone who knows something about the rule of thumb. So, do you think you could show us how? There's a couple of things you need to know. For example, where is the eye inside the head? Where exactly does it locate? Take a measurement from the Norm's mid-eye to his chin, and then from his mid-eye to the top of his head, and you'll see those measurements are almost the same. Wow. So his eyes are exactly in the middle of his head. Wow, that's a relief. <laughs> so this type of measurement is called a non-standard measurement, right? Non-standard measurement! That's right. You uh, don't always need to use a ruler when you're measuring. So, there's another thing that I learned in school, and it was called the rule of thumb. Do you think you could show us that? Yes. Uh, years ago, people used this measurement. Around the base of the thumb, you okay. go once around, once, twice around. Twice. That measurement is equal to the measurement right around the wrist. <laughs> wow! If you wanted to go once around, mm -hmm. Twice around. Twice around. Three times around. Three times around. And that measurement yeah. would give you the measurement around your head. Bandana <laughs> Nor. <laughs> Did you know that every person, just about every person, is seven feet tall? Set, wait, wait, wait a minute, Donna. I, 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 know, I know a lot of people. I know very few people who are seven feet tall. I mean, that's like a basketball player I'm definitely or not seven feet tall. No, me neither. That's seven of your own feet. Oh. So really, those are our body rules. Our body rules. <laughs> Can you believe this is math? Twice around your thumb will definitely do Cause it's equal to your wrist, that's right for me and you Stretch out your arms with all your might Fingertip to fingertip, the same as your height, that's right The same as your height Here's a thing that's super cool Talking about our body, our body rules We don't need a ruler or measuring tools We can use our body cause our body rules Yeah, 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 our body, our body rules 